What's up, Diamond Gang family? It's your boy True here, and I'm back again with yet another video. Back, 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 back. And as you guys can see by the title of this video and not thumbnail, we are back with yet another Jag Race video. And this is our second to last Jag Race video to end off season 12. Season 12 is coming to an end very, 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 very soon. And it has been a great season. Um, lots of interesting fashion choices. Lots of behind the scenes, drama, all of that good jazz. So, yeah guys, today's video is going to be all things Miss Jackie Cox. So, yeah guys, that's just on the agenda for today. Real quick, for those of you guys that are new here, this is your first time here on my channel. Be sure to either right now or at the end of this video that you guys make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that post notification bell so that you guys do not miss a beat. Make sure that you guys stay connected with me on all social medias. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video, you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, so just like the other videos um, have been, we're going to start off with the background on Miss Jackie Cox and go from there. So, yeah, you guys, Jackie Cox is the stage name of 35-year-old Darius Rose. Um, her drag name was created by her and her best friend in college as a character that they made up who is in musical theater. But um, I actually found out through a Facebook group that I'm a part of that Jackie Cox is actually a play on words. And if you know, then you know. So, yeah, you guys. Um, some trivia about her. Um, she's the second queen of Middle Eastern Distant to compete on the show. Um, Shangela from Season 2, 3, and All Stars 3 is actually the first um, because she is half Saudi Arabian. So, yeah. And she is also the third Canadian queen to compete with Brooklyn Heights from Season 11 being the first and Crystal from RuPaul's Drag Race UK one, Season 1 being the second. So, yeah, guys. That's just a little bit of trivia on Jackie Cox. And, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so moving into Jackie Cox in the I'm That Bitch rap, um, I'm going to go ahead and play her verse right here on the screen somewhere or in the next clip. I don't know. Y'all just be looking at looking for it. So we're going to go ahead and play Jackie's uh, I'm That Bitch rap, and then we're going to come back and talk about that. So, yeah, you guys. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jackie Miss Cox, if you're naughty Just like my girls Laverne, Deb, and Courtney Give him sassy style, take it to the flow I'm not just the verge of rinse just next door That funny feminine and absolutely fierce To sell my tea boys, that's how I say cheers From the streets of Hell's Kitchen right to the runway This beat is a witch and you better say Shante Okay, you guys, so that was Jackie's little verse in the I'm That Bitch performance. Um, honestly, truly, Jackie surprised me with that verse. Um, especially when I first heard what the challenge was, I was just looking around, like, with all the queens that were there, and I was just like, wow, Jackie in a rap, in a rap, you know, challenge, it was just like, oh, what, you know, like, I was just really blown off by her. But her verse was probably the funniest verse. It's, I think my favorite line is fat, funny, feminine, and absolutely fierce. I don't know why, but that line just stuck out to me. Um, the Her look, the moves, all of it was so cute. Just like so teeny bopper. Like I just lived. So, um, yeah, Jackie's verse was definitely a good verse. Um, it definitely was the funniest verse outside of Crystal Methods, of course. But, <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So let's go ahead and move into Jackie's Runway Fashions. So, Jackie's Runway Runway fashions really surprised me because I really thought that we were going to get a lot of Middle Eastern Persian type of costumes or um, looks. And it really wasn't that. Her looks were always flawless week after week after week after week after week that she was here. So that was like really a surprise because I'm so glad that she didn't just stick to like one realm of looks. Uh, she gave us a lookbook really to me jackie was the fashion queen she was more fashionable than Gigi, and i know you guys are probably gonna read me for this but i said what i said um to me i felt like jackie was way more fashionable than Gigi. um that was just me i loved everything that jackie put out on the runway it probably except for that purple look i was a little uh creeped out by that one but everything else that she put out i was in love with um there was like one, not one outfit besides her purple look that I just wasn't really feeling. But, yeah, guys. Um, I loved everything. So, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and talk about Jackie Cox as Lisa Rinna in the Snatch Chain. So, before Snatch Game this season, I had no idea who Lisa Rinna was. And Jackie Cox made me, like, fully realize who Lisa Rinna was. Like, even with me not knowing her, just by her playing... Playing her, like, made me want to know, like, what she was really about. So, literally, after Snatch Games, I went and looked up who Lisa Rinna was and, like, watched all types of clips about her. And Jackie slayed Lisa Rinna. Like, it was amazing that, like, the, I mean, the look, the characterisms, all of it was spot on. I was just like, wow. I was literally dead. Like, I think I laughed more at Jackie's Snatch Game than anything like she was spot on like the the voice the look the characters all of it was great i definitely think that jackie was exceptional in the snatch game being that season 12 snatch game was a little eh um that one was definitely one to remember so yeah guys okay you guys let's go ahead and talk about jackie's lip sync performances so as we know jackie cox lip synced three times this season and the first lip sync was against miss widow von due to katie perry's firework and um that was so beautiful especially for her to be doing it like in her hijab and like you know showing off her persian descent and uh all that good jazz like i literally lived for that performance like I know a lot of people say that Jackie should not have stayed, but I feel like the passion behind Jackie to me was a lot. I mean, the passion behind Widow was, you know, good too, but Widow had kind of already checked out. Jackie, that was her first lip sync. She was not checked out from that comp from competition yet. And so I agree with Jackie being able to stay for that um, elimination. And then, of course, she lip synced against Miss Heidi in the closet, and that was a double save. I was shocked because I did not realize, I did not see a double save coming out of that. I thought Jackie's time, you know, Jackie had came to her time and it was time for her to go. But Rue had different plans. Um, I liked how both of them did, like, you know, did the little disco, uh, disco, like, makeover. So they were both kind of, like, lip syncing in the same outfit a little bit. But, like, they both just had different um, approaches. I feel like I loved every approach that Jackie took going into her lip sync. Like, there was always, like, a character or always, like, Jackie doing this. Like, it was something different from what we've seen, you know, just from her pummeling the runway. So, that was always good. And then, of course, her sashaying moment against Miss Crystal Method to uh, On the Floor by Jennifer Lopez. Um... I don't know how I really felt about either one of them being in the bottom, um, to be quite honest. But I felt like they both fought, you know, their way for that top four spot. And unfortunately, Jackie um, sashayed away for from the competition. And I literally think that when RuPaul said not sashay away to her, I literally buried my face into the pillow and I was so hurt. Like, my feelings were hurt. Like, I think I cried for, like, maybe five minutes. Um... Definitely watching her leave broke me. I felt like Jackie was top four material. And unfortunately, if, you know, the season would have aired without Miss Sherry Pie allegations and all of that stuff, I feel like Jackie could have possibly been in the top four. But, yeah, you guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, my thoughts on Jackie as we go forward. Um, I'm really hoping that she does decide to come back for an all-star season because she definitely has so much star potential that needs to be put on the TV again. I cannot wait to see what she has in store for us because I'm super, super, super excited. But yeah, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, make sure that you guys leave this video a thumbs up as well as comment down below any other videos that you guys want to see. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you guys go ahead and press that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so that you guys do not miss a beat. And make sure that you guys stay connected with me on all social medias because I'm always active and that's the best place to reach me. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>